The horse I ride is old, but he has served me well. Coat like coal, tobacco rich and warm. He is old, but he is sound. And my rain chains ring like bells. We fit well together as we glide. I've got that going on, and when I disengage her, I just bump and release. Slightly pull back with my left hand to shift the weight and bring the front end around. My outside leg brings the front end across. That's the start. As I ride away, I'm going to set it up again. It'll be my left shoulder. There it is. You made it. So you just half halt, look, and come out of it. And the trails I ride on even We're starting off, we always need to the right. You'll notice my dally hand is on the left side of the horn. If your dally hand is on the right side of the horn, as you practice, you're going to cut a finger off. It's just a matter of time. Another thing the horse has to be good at is you're going to end up dragging close. And she's got to be good about feeling that rope on her hip and be able to handle it. Now, we all talk about horses getting rim fired. Well, that's true. There again. If you never rope, it'll never happen to you. If you do rope for any amount of time, it's going to happen over time. The object is to, to go side pass, move the hind quarter over forehand across and end up on the next log. You try to keep the horse's feet moving and not hit a pole. Hind quarter, head turns, forehand, there's the log. Now once again, you act like the log's longer than it is and that gives you a chance for the rear end to make it through. Try it one more time, that won't pay off too good. There is one place here, partner. Now if he comes flying out, I don't really care. I'm not going to whip him to make him go the rest of the way in. But we're not leaving either. Watch the ears. This isn't just a parlor trick. This is the idea that a horse, there's no doubt in his mind where to be. 